Excellent. All right. Lead robot. Lead robot, yes. From the wonderful northeast of England. Well, I'm from the northeast of England. Those guys are all from horrible, horrible Leeds. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's no. the south, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, we, that's what I would say. I'm more northern than you. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm originally from the northeast. I moved down to Leeds, the normal thing, university. Moved down there about 13, 14 years ago. And uh, I'm still... And I got, got, got stuck? I got stuck. I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the beautiful countryside over near Halifax, so, so I, I can get away from all those guys. Yeah, but we're Leeds based mainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, funny story, I left Tyneside, went to Bradford for university, got stuck there for 13 years. Oh, yeah, well, I'm in a Bradford postcode, so I'm up in Queensbury, so... Uh, yeah, was that decade as well? There we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. We were probably neighbours, so it would have been. But perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps we were, yeah. And now we're here. Yeah, this is true. So, lead robot. Yeah. Uh, metal to the masses. Yeah, we, um, well, it's funny, really, because we... Um, We've been in Metal to the Masses previously. Yeah. Uh, we got to, we've been in it twice. Got it, we're in the final twice, in fact. Yeah. Um, but this time we we didn't actually play. We were personally invited. Nice. There's an extra slot going, and the guys at Bloodstock personally invited us to come along. Basically, we, you know, we've we've done our time. Yeah. To come along and play. Uh, and of course, we were chuffed. At, you know, it was an honour to actually even be asked to do it. Um, we've 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 been trying for a while to come here because it's bloody great. Yeah. Uh, and now we're here. It's going to be good. Yeah. Have you been, have you come here before as a as a, a guest? I never have. Yeah. Um, but I, because. I'm a grumpy old man and, and I don't like camping. Uh, but no, I, I, the last yeah. festival I went to was 10 years ago. Yeah. I think I think it was Downloads. It was called Faith in the Mall Headline, so I went to that. Yeah. Um, it was a big comeback gig. But no, uh, the other guys have been pretty much every single year it's been on. Uh, the other guys in the band. They're big festival guys off to Hellfest and Bloodstock and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. But uh, me, no, I'm a, I'm a grumpy old man, so I'm kind of a little bit out of my depth at the moment, I think. Yeah, how are you finding it as a, as a festival? It's lovely. It's great. It's not It's not as... It's just a lot more relaxed than a lot of festivals. I was saying that Paul, I guitar earlier on even just the like the, the the security staff and everything everyone's just sound yep. and it's just a lot more of a relaxed environment than a lot of other festivals I've been to and everyone's like I said everyone's a lot more chilled I, I don't feel squashed in like I have at previous <laughs> festivals yeah. you know it, not, as, not as far to walk it's great I'm loving it it's fantastic and, and then a good variety of bands as well you know some the loads of bands I've never seen before yep. loads of bands I've wanted to see you know newer bands been spotting a lot of a lot of our friends and on the new blood stage and some of our friends who've now moved over to Sophie so Bavarian Hair who moved over at the open yes. stage of the night yeah. played with them a few times uh, Pravitas who won the Leeds um, Heat of Metal to the Masters went and saw those guys they're, they're awesome if you like your yeah. tech stuff uh, yeah and we're just kind of looking forward to, to getting stuff in there you know what I mean mm-hmm. it's, uh, it was building up to the being here for the full festival as well being on the last day the nerves starting to kick in and, <laughs> but I think we'll be alright I think we'll be alright yeah so what have we got planned are you just basically taking your, your stage show that got you invited and, and, and yeah and yeah we're not we're not very we don't have a lot going on on stage normally when I play small venues we have a full uh, strobe light set up and I actually trigger that I actually have a thing in my hand and I can trigger the strobes on and off and so I'm doing all my lights on stage nice. uh, because as well as doing vocals I'm not constantly at it but I have I have uh, samplers and things for all sorts of horrific noises <laughs> and um, which you trigger every now and again so I kind of do all that sort of stuff but we're not bringing any of that here well we're bringing the sampler here because it's kind of an integral part of the music uh, yeah. but it's just our stage show it's very very energetic lots of movement yeah. um, so I, it'd be nice to play a stage where I can actually move because I can't I hate I mean I'm not a small guy and I hate being stood still on stage yeah. can't stand it but yeah well, yeah, we're bringing it along it's, I think it's something a little bit different as well um, mm-hmm. we play we often get compared to bands like um, Strapping Lad Ministry uh, things like that it's sort of an industrial thrash sort of sound going on very fast a lot of groove going on um, samples and noises and all sorts of shit going on yeah. uh, I think it's something a little bit different that people are um, you know when we, we've been handing out these cards we've printed off these little cards that I've set down on seeing people in a white zombie t-shirt straight over you know yeah. that type of thing and people have been saying to us you know oh this is exactly the type of stuff that you know I've been looking forward to go and check out at the festival Brilliant. so hopefully we're going to get a, a few, fair few people come along and it's the first time my son will have seen me live as well which is oh, lovely awesome. uh, I took him to his first gig only his first ever gig two weeks ago yeah. I took him to see uh, Television and Therapy and he bloody loved that of course um, he did because they're both brilliant yeah they're fantastic <laughs> that was at the Peace Hall in Halifax um, yeah. that was great uh, loved that um, and I think he's going to enjoy it today as well and I'm just yeah it's just going to be a lot of fun it's, it's aggressive music but we have a lot of fun doing it so you know it's uh, I'm looking forward to it and then after we've done with this we, um, we've got a new album our first al- well we've done previously done EPs but our first album proper comes out on the 30th of August yep. so we're leading up to that so this is good timing well you play any of the new material today or? yeah yeah five songs off the new album are getting played today um, those are already available online if you pre-order on Bandcamp now you can get those five tracks already we figured if we're playing making over that yeah. yes Bandcamp Bandcamp yep. and t-shirts £10 over there 
Um, and if you, yeah, so you can get them now. We thought it was a good idea to get those songs out there so maybe people could hear them first, get a bit familiar with them when we play them live. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, the album comes out in uh, end of October, then it'll be music videos after that. Luckily, I'm a filmmaker myself, that's my job, so I can just handle all of that. So that's yep. quite good. And then um, a new EP in, on Halloween. We've got a new EP coming out straight away, so we're trying to make up for lost time, really. Yep. The guitarist is the one who writes most of the stuff. Mm-hmm musically really and then brings it to us and then we sort of fashion it all together and I slot things in over the top so he's always writing he's a single guy who lives in his own flat so he's got nothing better to do so he just he just writes riffs constantly and then we'll, like I said we'll just <laughs> we'll just uh, sort of mould it together into something that works yep. but I mean I can't say enough about the guy who recorded our album a guy called uh, Matt Baldwinson um, he's a guitarist for a band called Dream Troll which is sort of like a new wave of British heavy metal I they've been seen, making waves I have seen their stickers in the, in the urinals yep, yes, yes you have yes. Yeah. well Paul our guitarist is <laughs> their bass player right. and Matt uh, recorded and uh, recorded and uh, mixed and mastered our album and he's done an incredible job yeah. like the aggression that he's managed to get through there because that's what we always try to get we've had trouble trying to record the aggression we have live on record and I think we're getting closer to it now. excellent um, but yeah 30th of August if people like it and like us you know, come check us out and uh, come check us out online Bandcamp Facebook all the normal places yeah, yeah. so uh, for anybody who's not a Bloodstone can't catch you have you got any live dates coming up uh, not a massive amount at the moment because we're basically we were leading up to the album we've got a couple yep. of things going on uh, Rock Foundry through in uh, Trillions in Newcastle yep. and that's in October I think uh, so there's a little wait yeah there'll probably be a few more coming up I reckon and leading yep. up to that little ones but we're about maybe booking in a five day sort of UK jaunt at some point I reckon yep. um, you know time permitted uh, but yeah le- le- at the moment it was leading up to the album but yeah we're, we're always about keep your eyes open on, online and we're, <laughs> we appear in the most unlikely of places of course you do. <laughs> yeah, we do. It's <laughs> great. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Enjoy the show later on and enjoy, enjoy the rest of the festival. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank Cheers. you.